Hello everyone, today I have the Winchester Model 101 12 gauge over under shotgun and I'm going to give you a quick summary review, the highlights of this gun. I've already done a full in-depth review on my channel Target Focus Life. If you want to check that out, we'll put it down in the description. But here we go. As I mentioned, this is a 12 gauge shotgun. Winchester does not make the 101 in current production in any sub gauges. You can find older 101s that are in sub gauges, but all the current productions are 12 gauge. This is the deluxe model here. And it has the nice grade three European walnut, very beautiful wood, nicely engraved on the sides. We have quail on this side. We have a duck on the bottom side. We have pheasants on the left side. Very nice engraving on the top and top lever. The safety is simple to use. I always like the Winchester and Browning safeties on their over-unders. Pretty much the same safety, just very easy to put on fire as you mount into that bird. Don't need to look. Some of those safeties can be a little bit tricky. The trigger pull on this shotgun in my review when I put the gauge on it came out at an average pull weight of 5 pounds, 10 ounces which is maybe a little bit heavy for a gun of this caliber. MSRP is $21.49. Of course, if you're shopping at Reed's, you know, you're gonna get a better price than that, but it was a little bit heavy for my liking. A lot of things to love about this shotgun, the ergonomics, the feel in your hands, very nice. You have an ivory mid bead, brass front bead, shoots really well. Now, I noticed it has quite a bit of recoil. A lot of recoil came up into my face. That's why I went ahead and put a Falcon Strike recoil pad on there. Just throwing that out there. This is not the stock recoil pad. A couple other things that I've noticed is it's loosened up quite a bit over time. I have several rounds through this, maybe 1,000, 1,500 at most. And I noticed it is getting a little bit loose. So that's something I'm going to be looking into why that's happened already. Vented top rib does not have a vented barrel. A really cool gun from Winchester. I wish they made it in some sub gauges. I would definitely enjoy shooting those as well. That's just a quick look at the Winchester Model 101. Until next time, we'll see you later.